That's a lot of fragrances. If I were to buy them at retail, I'd probably be broke. Oftentimes people ask me where I get my fragrances from and although some of them might be at retail, for the most part, I get a lot of these online at discounted prices. I'm talking like 40 to 50% off. More than 80% of the time, I would say that you shouldn't buy retail. Let's talk about a safe discounter that I buy a lot of fragrances from. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on guys? My name is Neve. Welcome back to Aromatics. I'm going to explain why I have my laptop here because we're going to do this in a live way, I guess. It's not really live, but uh, anyways. In today's video, I partnered up with Joma Shop to do a $500 giveaway. Yay! Yeah, seriously. Aside from the giveaway, Joma Shop is a pretty big, it's a beast in the game, man. If you're not buying from Joma Shop, I highly recommend you check them out, okay? I get like... I get a lot of fragrances from them. I try to stick between two to three different retailers or discounters, I should say, not retailers. Well, they sell authentic retail products at discounted prices, significant. I know a lot of stigmas are like, is it safe? Do you get fakes? Blah, blah, blah. And they're all credible concerns, but I've never gotten a fake from Joma Shop. Also, their customer service is pretty responsive. And if you suspect a fake, I'm sure you can contact them and they can remedy the situation for you. Regardless of the fact they have a phone number, they have a chat online, they make it really easy. I mean, they're one of the top in the game. I truly have never had a bad experience with Joma Shop. Everything I've ordered was delivered, was shipped. There is one thing that you do have to keep in mind when you order from Joma Shop though, okay? So when you look in the actual page of a fragrance, it'll tell you, want it by, you know, the date, set date, and it'll say that it'll uh, ship out the same day or ships in, in, you know, one to two days. Also, if it's something that's gonna take time to come out, it'll tell you ships in five to 10 days, seven to 10 days, and it's always been true to that. I've never had to wait longer than the longest day of time frame. And generally speaking, for the most part, I usually get it before the ships to date, but it is still something that you should consider. Otherwise, professional. The boxes are great. They've got their signature like tap on tape, never pay retail. It's got like this thread, super easy to cut. Freaking love buying from Joma Shop genuinely. One of my go-tos, definitely top three discounters to buy any fragrance from. And if you don't know about them, I highly suggest you check them out. It would help if you click the link down in the description, anything you purchase through that link. I know it's a little bit annoying who likes to click a link and then it pops up, but that's all you have to do. And it helps me generate some money so that I can come back and buy a bunch more fragrances and do a bunch more reviews for you guys to enjoy and watch together. So today we're gonna to be going through the website together and picking about $500 worth of fragrances. And in five days, we're gonna pick a winner that's based in the United States. I believe they ship to Canada now too. And you're gonna win that $500 bundle of fragrances. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty interesting. It gives us an idea of what fragrances they have. You know, some Middle Eastern cheapies, also designers and niche. And I kid you guys not, I buy a lot of fragrances from them. You know what? Let's take a look and see some of the last fragrances that I purchased. So I've purchased one of the last ones that's still on the way is YSL Lone Cologne Blue. I wanted to compare that with a Middle Eastern niche fragrance, see how close it gets. I also bought Flavia's Limpression. This is by, I believe, Sterling Perfumes, AKA Armoff. I bought the now discontinued on retail, uh, on the retail side of things, Giorgio Armani Aqua de Joe Absolute. So that's another plus with these discounted websites is you get discontinued fragrances that are not on shelves, but they're still trickling in in available. John Varvatos Artisan Pure. I also bought a Guerlain, the Aqua Allegoria Forte Mandarin Basilique. And then I bought a bunch of other cheapies that you guys can see. There's Swiss Arabian, there's Ralph Lauren. I mean, wow, I spent, damn, I spent a lot <laughs> in April alone. I think I spent over. Anyways, let's go ahead and start looking into some fragrances and see what I would personally pick. Right off the bat, I already see something that I would personally want. I would personally immediately add to the cart if I was just starting out or this was my first time purchases. How Hawass. Hawass is a no-brainer. Everyday fragrance. This is something that for $45 on Joma Shop is a steal, man. That is an amazing fragrance to go with. I think I'm gonna do one more cheapie and then maybe a designer and a niche. We'll see how the budget allows us to do so. So they've got other fragrances I'm looking at like Coral Fantasy. I think that if I personally wanted a designer fragrance, although it's like $98, so do you want to do designer or do you want to do something from like Mancera? In that regards, I would probably try and get 
get something from Mancera. And I see right here, Instant Crush, freaking love Instant Crush. So I think we're sitting at about, I'm just gonna round it up, and we're sitting at about 50 plus $95. So we're sitting at about $150, okay? So $150 right there. It's Instant Crush, which is $94. And then that's one of their top sellers, of course. So it, it is discounted from 180 at retail. And then we've got the Hawass, which is 45. I see Rosa's Elysium, which is $209. That's not a bad deal. I mean, anywhere from 189 to 209 is fair. Definitely fair. Our Moth Untold, nah, I'm not really feeling that. Honor and Glory, for sure, man. That's another one. We're looking at $36.99. Let's average it out to about $35. We're sitting at about, I would say about 185 now. Tuxedo, YSL Tuxedo for only 235. But I believe they might have it in a tester. I saw it the other day, it's sold out. It's gone, the tester. This tester was about $209, which is not freaking bad. So we're sitting at 185. They got Frederick Mall. They've got Prada Lome, man. Prada Lome is a signature fragrance. This is gonna be a great bundle for those who are trying to start out their fragrance collection. I would say Prada Lome as well. So $90, so we're sitting at 185 plus 90. Alexa, what's a 185 plus 90? Work smarter. 185 plus 90 is 275. Now we're sitting at about 275. We're almost halfway through the budget. I'm looking at Tom Ford's Noir Extreme for 3.5 at $130. Not bad, not freaking bad for date night. But we do have something. I believe we put something in here for date night. No, we did not. Do we wanna do Noir Extreme? <sighs> Let's save it, because there's Arabian's Tonka as well, which is 100 ml for $109. Supposedly, you know, a niche fragrance, I would say. I think that's solid, man. I think that's solid. I would put Arabian's Tonka on there. 109, it's fair, it's a fair price. It's one of their more popular ones as well. So let's say we're at about uh, 375 now. We're at about 380. So we're sitting with $120 left. What would I get? I mean, there's a few more fragrances that I would personally get. I see Versace Dylan Blue for a 200 ml, $65. That is not freaking bad. If I were to pick one, let's pick another Zerzhoff fragrance since they have the name and the label. And a lot of people love Zerzhoff. Let's see what they've got for Zerzhoff. I see Herba Gold, a 1.7, the new boy for $140. That's not bad, but they also have Monkey Special, Alexandria 2. I, I think I'm leaning towards getting that Herba Gold. Herba Gold because it's fruity, a little bit musky in nature, easier to wear during the summertime. Naxos is arguably a good one, but Naxos is about $199. So I think we might wrap this one up with Herba Gold. Definitely the fact that it's summertime right now has influenced uh, the scent profiles or the scent choices. I was debating whether or not I should get YSL Y Eau de Parfum. I think that's a great fragrance, but if I were to choose personally, I would go for something just a little bit more unique like Herba Gold. So Herba Gold is gonna be the last one on that $500 uh, giveaway and bundle that I would personally put together on the spot. I haven't had really any time to actually think and break down, but on the spot, I think this is a solid collection, man. You got that Instant Crush upscaled. You've got a fresh uh, Herba Gold. It's fruity, it's niche. We also play Laced Prada Lome, which could be a signature scent every day. Smells like fresh, clean linen. We also put a Tropical Honor and Glory. And we also included Hawass, which is like signature. There are plenty of other fragrances. They even have like Fragrance World products, etc. And honestly, the combination of Hawass and Honor and Glory, it's kind of what I would place in place of like YSL Y Eau de Parfum. I would wear Hawass on that day. It's a little bit more fresher. You can wear that thing every single day. I will say though that YSL Y Eau de Parfum is a great signature scent as well. If you have the budget. This was pretty fun. Did it on the spot to enter the giveaway. Make sure to put down in the comment section, hashtag aromatics. If you do plan on checking out Joma Shop, I'd appreciate it if you check them out through those links down in the description. I'll also link all of the products that we listed here in the description as well. Five days, the winner will post in that community tab and I'll see you guys there. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Till the next video, peace.